Hi, this is Deborah. I'm talking kind of low because I'm in the hospital. I just had my operation yesterday. My granddaughter was here to help me and uh, I thought I had a huge tumor in my uterus come to find out. It was a huge tumor in my ovaries, the size of a grapefruit. I asked my doctor this morning uh, why it didn't burst when I was moving because um, I just got finished moving and he said a tumor is not something that can burst it wasn't a cyst so that answered that question he says I can't wear tight blue jeans or anything that would rub on the incision but I'm up and walking I was very nauseous yesterday um, which is miserable for me. And I even warned the anesthesiologist. I said, please put something in the um, IV to counteract that, but he did. But the thing of it is, um, it didn't, the order didn't stay for the whole day. If you know what I mean, it should have gone on for the whole night. I'm walking into my bathroom. So my doctor just, um, <clears throat> took out my catheter and my um, space boots and my drain. So all that's been done. So I'm able to be mobile, which is nice. And I had taken five showers the day before with that cleansing stuff. But after the surgery, I had this thing in my eye. And it was bothering me. My Aunt Gloria brought me some eye drops. I don't know what happened during surgery. But let's uh, see if I can get you in the mirror. I bleached my hair just before, I guess, two days. So I've lost a couple pounds. But I, I do a whole lot skinnier than what you see in the mirror. It's, it's a lot of layers and paddings and stuff. But um, I haven't ate or slept two days. That's kind of bad. I'm trying to fix this. Uh, I think it's some kind of cancer. Or I don't know. It's why you should wear sunscreen. <laughs> uh, but um, overall, I I've, I've like this hospital a lot. I do. I do like this hospital, it's Spotsylvania. And I brought my furry blanket. See, I think you should always buy, bring your furry blankets. All right, oh, and I got these lovely flowers from a friend of mine. They nice. And this friend got me measuring spoons with the seashell theme. Isn't that great? I was so happy when Lena Paytas finally got on YouTube to tell everybody what happened to her. My heart just goes out to her. It really does. She doesn't know what an inspiration she is. All right. Bye, YouTubers. Thanks for watching.